Thank you to everyone who commented about upgrading your Apple TV to run from USB-C power. Today's video will cover that topic. Your ideas drive our content, so please keep them coming. Let's begin. After taking off the back cover, the first thing you notice is the power supply. Let's see. No indication of the voltage. But no problem. Let's just power it up and find out. Well, this was a change. Apple has gone down from 12 volts to just 4.29 volts. Okay, let's take out the power supply and see what else we can find. Now for our sponsor. Wait, that's us. Just for sticking with us for this long we are offering a 50% discount on our 87 watt USB-C car adapters using coupon code. Popping off the cover, we can't find any more power information. But that's okay. We'll put a load on a load tester and find out what the max amp that this power supply will output. Looks like the max amp output is around 4.2 amps. That means this power supply is about 18 watts. Okay, now to install the DC power supply. We will reuse the two stud washers from the original power supply. So we will break them off the power supply. Now to set out DC board to the right voltage and amp limit. Don't pay attention to the scribble on the cardboard. That was another project. I am using an off-the-shelf USB-C power delivery input board. Here I will quickly demo the different output voltages that can be set. As you can see, none of the preset voltages has an output of 4.30 volts, so we will still use our DC board to step down the voltage even further from the USB-C board to 4.30 volts. A little more final testing to be absolutely sure. If you liked our video, please smash those icons. I happen to love my hot glue gun, so I will just hot glue the DC board in. Let me know in the comments below how you'd mount your USB-C board.
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. We appreciate your support, and we'll see you in our next video.